What's Raj's last name? Sangri. I'm sorry, can you just give me that one more time? S-A-N-G-H-B-I. S-A-N-G-H-E-I? Sangri. V as in Victor. Oh, V-I, I'm sorry. S-A-N-V-H-E-I. Okay. okay. All right, he, I guess because it's his thing, he's the only guy that can answer questions about it. Well, he's here, so hold on a second. Oh, I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, hi, Raj. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions about... Sure, go ahead, go ahead, please. About Torment, right? Yeah, yes, yes. Sure, go ahead, please. I was wondering, um, I noticed that the taxes are in arrear. If, if I were to purchase the property, would I be responsible for those taxes? Uh, good question. Usually it's a short sale. It's going to be sold as is. But usually when you... When the titles are passed from bank to the buyer, bank usually takes care of the uh, taxes. The, the, I'm sorry, I'm a little confused. What, th this this is uh, this this is like a foreclosed home, right? It's not a foreclosed. It's a it's a pre foreclosed called short sell. Oh, short sell. So they're selling it for less than what it's worth. Exactly right. Uh, Oh, okay, so, so I'm sorry. So if I was to purchase it, I would or I would not be responsible Usually for it? Usually when in short shell, bank sells the property in as is condition. As is. That is the physical condition of the uh, property, and they try to clear all big taxes or any, what you call, any open permits or any violence with the city or town or village. They try to clear those things. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Um, that's what I'm saying, that they will try to clear, but I cannot say yes or no. It's 100% depend on the bank. Oh, the bank. If I say yes, they will clear, and if they don't clear, you're going to call, uh, shoot me right at the and uh, the closing table, and my body would be lying on the table. And well, I, I wouldn't do that, but I wouldn't do that, but I but, but I could I could find out from the bank, right? Once your, your best bet would be if you make an offer and if you go into contract, when the bank's attorney sends you the contract, your attorney can check with the bank's attorney and say that, hey, we got the contract, my buyer or my client has a few questions, and they will answer you. Oh, okay. Could, could I ask you, I happen to notice that um, there was an assessment recently on the property by the town of Voice the Bay. They did a cleanup there? They did. You, do you, how, did how did they get contacted to do that cleanup? Bank. Oh, the bank contacts them? <laughs> Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Do you know, do, do like, all banks contact the... Uh, all banks, you, some banks do that. So they, so they call the town and they say, could you clean up this property yes. we own? And that start is the, all bank has their own property inspection and property maintenance services. They clean the mess. I'm sorry, hold on, I just want to make sure I understand this. The bank owns the property... And they call the town and they say, could you please come over and clean up this property? That's one option. Second option is few banks, not few, I would say some of the banks have their property clear, clearance and maintenance companies who take care of the property. Right. Some, some banks hire their own. Yeah, exactly but, but, in this, right, yeah. but in this particular case, this bank contacted the town and said, yeah. could you clean yeah. this up for us? And then, and then they just put... The, the price of the cleanup, they just put it against the assessed taxes. Is that how exactly that works? Exactly right. And then the person that's buying it may or may not, but generally you would say that would probably be like, a, the price would include everything to clear everything up, right? Yes. Usually town do not put lien except on the taxes. I'm sorry, say that one more time? The town of Oysterville, or any town, town of Hampstead, Oysterville, North Hampstead, or anything, any town do not put any other lien on the property except than the real estate tax. Right, 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 on the tax. So could you tell me what the name of the bank is that owns this property? Uh, there are two banks. Unfortunately, I cannot give you the names, but there are two banks. One, one of them that I can tell you is Wells Fargo. 
Oh, so if I went to contract, would I be going to contract with two different people selling it? They no. no. Main bank handles the for sale process and everything. But in but in real life, the the property is actually owned by two different banks. Two banks have an interest in it. No, two banks have money invested on the property. Yes. Two two banks the have board money. Or or the owner of the property took two loans from two different banks. Oh, and one of them is Wells Fargo. But and another one is a small bank in California. A small bank in California? But how come you can't tell me what their name is? How can I? No, how come you won't? How come you, you cannot it, tell me it, their it, name? Because it's a legal issue, attorney takes care of it. I'm sorry, it, it's a legal issue? Yes. Legality wise, I cannot mention or I cannot disclose any information unless and until it has been given by the attorney. Oh, can you tell me who the attorney is that's representing? I cannot tell you unless and until you make an offer and your offer is accepted. Then I will tell you everything. All right, and and I'm sorry, but your last name is S A N V H E I. Yes. And your first name is Raj. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but the Century Twenty One you work in, where are you located? Where well, I'm in Westbury. Oh, Westbury. All right, I have to tell you, it sounds a little strange. I mean, I, I, I'm interested in the property, but it's like you want me to, to not only make an offer, but you want me to go to contract before you release no, some no, information. No, 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 you misunderstand my statement. I don't know what are your intention to know all this information is that once you make an offer, your offer goes to the attorney, and attorney sees because we have what, eight or ten offers on the table. Oh, oh, wow, you have eight or ten offers on the property right now? Yes. Wow. So, so you have the one attorney that would take my offer, compare it to the other offers. And they will see wh wh whose offer is with better terms. The contracts will send to that buyer's attorney. And then that attorney would check with the two banks that have interest in the property and see if they'll mm -hmm. accept, the, accept the offer? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. All right. Thanks for your help today. You bet. Welcome. No problem, sir. All right. Bye-bye, Ray. I don't know, that sounds a little strange.